This week we highlight another life well lived. By the time American troops liberated the Buchenwald concentration camp on April 11, 1945, a Jewish teenager named Mel Mermelstein had lost his entire family. From that day, he set out to fulfill a promise he had made to his father. Mermelstein was 17 years old when he and his family were taken by the Nazis from Hungary to the Auschwitz camp in Poland, where more than one million people were killed. His mother and two sisters were among them. His father and brother died later. Mel promised his father if he survived, he would keep alive the story of what happened in the camps. Even after being marched to Buchenwald, Mel did survive and immigrated to the United States in 1946. He served in Army intelligence during the Korean War, met a school teacher named Emma, who became his wife of six decades, and started his own business in Southern California. In 1979, Mermelstein wrote a memoir about his family's experience in the Holocaust called By Bread Alone. It was around that time a group of Holocaust deniers, calling themselves the Institute for Historical Review, began to harass him. The anti-Semitic organization proposed $50,000 to the winner of an essay contest who could prove the extent of the Holocaust or that it happened at all. Mermelstein was encouraged not to give the deniers the attention they craved, but he could not resist, writing a first-hand essay then suing when the group did not pay him. The judge in the case put on the record as indisputable fact the truth about the Holocaust and ordered the group to pay Mermelstein his $50,000. Mel said later, they picked on the wrong Jew. Mel Mermelstein, who bore witness for history and fought to preserve the truth, died last week in Long Beach, California. He was 95 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.